All right, so we've got this question from uh, somebody who left a comment on my YouTube video saying, uh, what do I do with lucid dreaming, me personally? Um, so I'm just going to try and answer this and explain how I use it, why I use lucid dreaming, and why how you can use it to uh, improve your life as well. So hopefully this won't be a very long video. Uh, it's just going to explain a bit about more what you can do with it. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I, you know, I have this YouTube channel, I, I have my website, but it, it, it still feels like I'm just scratching the surface of what you can actually do with this, uh, with lucid dreaming. Um, so, you know, I'll probably be making videos, I'll probably be making videos until I'm like 50, 60, you know. There's so much to learn and I feel like it's going to be good if I can take you through the journey and like ideally help you along the way so that we can all learn at the same time and, you know share ideas that sort of thing so anyway let's go right into it so the reason the things I use it for personally uh, is a mixture of um, improving my confidence um, exploring my subconscious mind exploring my the aspects of my personality the the true feelings inside me um, and also to do things like to practice skills so for example if I wanted to improve my public speaking skill I could practice that in a lucid dream or if I wanted to learn a martial art Okay, I could practice the skills that you learn in your waking life. You can practice these things in a lucid dream and actually get results. You can actually improve. Um, and to be honest, that's an entire video on its own, okay, practicing skills in, in a dream. Uh, but, you know, the, my opinion is it's one of those things where, you know, in 10 years' time, everyone's going to be lucid dreaming, okay? It's just going to be, like, such a common thing uh, because it's just a better way of, of dreaming. It's a better way of using the time you're already going to be spent spending sleeping. You know, we're asleep for a third of our lives. Right, so if you can actually use that time productively, uh, you'd have to be silly to not want to because you're going to use the time's going to go by anyway, right? So if you can use it to improve your public speaking skills, your martial arts, your if you play an instrument, you can practice, you know, writing songs or whatever the case may be. You can practice things that you're going to do in waking life anyway, in a dream, okay? And this is especially also useful for people like, say, if you do parkour, okay? I used to do a lot of free running to, before I um. I damaged my knee doing doing some free running actually, um, but you know you can practice these things in a safe dream environment where you can get a feel for how things would be like to experience without actually having the danger and the risk of doing them in real life. So you know a great example of that is free running. You know if you want to do all that crazy jumping off buildings and climbing up walls and whatever it is, you can practice that in a dream. And then even if you do it in waking life as well. You would have had that experience of the more dangerous stuff in a dream so that you can, you know, you know how it feels. You don't need to then risk more of yourself in the waking world. You can just practice it in a dream. Uh, and this applies to, you know, if you want to jump out of a plane but you don't want to do it in real life, you can do it in a dream. If you want to see what it feels like to fight some massive dragon or whatever, phoenix, you can, you can play out these situations in a dream. Uh, with no real consequences, you know, there's you're not going to get hurt, you're not going to feel any pain. Well, you might in the dream, but when you wake up, it's you know, it's fine. Um, so there are so many different things you can do with this, um, and it really just comes down to what you want to do with it. So you know, like I said, we're all going to dream every night. We're all going to sleep for a third of our lives. Okay, it's just a case of what do you want to do with that time. Maybe you want to be more creative and you want to get inspiration. If you're a writer, for example, you can use. Uh, you can use the inspiration of the dream to get ideas for new stories to write, uh, new ways to be creative with your art. Um, if you're interested in maths, for example, you can. there's records of people that have gone into a lucid dream and actually asked the dream itself to help them solve some sort of problem that they've not been able to solve before. And the dream, the, your, you know, your subconscious mind at the end of the day, has given them answers. It has actually helped them with problems that they couldn't solve in waking life for whatever reason. They couldn't focus on them. Uh, you know, they were difficult, they couldn't really pinpoint the answers. And the dream itself has actually helped them to get these answers. So, yeah, uh, I think I'll wrap things up there. You know, I think you get the idea. You can you can really use it for anything. You can use it for the more productive things, practicing skills, uh, exploring your subconscious, removing fears, improving your confidence. Or you can use it for the more fun side of things, lucid dreaming sex, superpowers, uh, playing out dangerous adventures, Especially if, you know, if you're a gamer, for example, if you like to play video games, you can reenact some of these famous video game fights or adventures in a dream and actually feel what it feels like to be in that situation. And, you know, I think this is also where virtual reality is going. In the next few years, you're going to see many more 
video game companies, entertainment companies, media companies, they're going to be jumping on this virtual reality bandwagon. And, you know, in a few years' time, it's going to essentially be virtual reality. You know, you're going to be able to go to a, a store, if you can't already, and just pick up a virtual reality, you know, pack, disc, whatever it is, and just simulate that situation. Just like the film, I don't know if you've seen the film Total Recall, uh, but, you know, you can just go into a memory of something and feel exactly what it feels like to do that thing. Uh, and lucid dreaming is a free and very easy way of doing that without the technology. So, you know, it's kind of ahead of its time, but that's neither here nor there. So, if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe, uh, and I'll see you in the next one.